Okay, so this is video number three. We're gonna go ahead and upload this file that we just created. Um, first, what you wanna do is make sure that your software is on. And before you turn your software on, make sure that you plug in with your USB, your KESS. So that way, everything is reading properly. Here we go, we click on the car. I've already got mine selected, Mercedes Sprinter W906 and the 318 liter, the 3 liter CBI. Okay, so it's all selected. And now you click on OK. Yes. It's the can. Select. We're going to write it. First time I did this. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. Click on select. Because if something goes wrong, this computer shuts down. If there's a power failure, it'll obviously it runs off a battery, you know? If something goes wrong, this could screw your ECU. You'd be fucked. Okay. So the file we just created is this one here, the Clear Read Original 2. Now that's what I named it. You can name it anything you want it. So it's the dot DTC off. So I'm going to click on that one and say open. Uh, yes, it's connected to the vehicle. Switch on the dashboard. Switch off the dashboard. Yes, it's connected. Turn on the dashboard. Okay, so it reads it. Okay. Proceed to write. Yes. There's no going back now. I know. This is a warning. It tells you could be damaged. You want to continue? Why not? Switch off the dashboard. Dashboard's off. Make sure when you're doing this you have, if you're going to use a laptop, make sure it's plugged into the power because this is very critical. Please connect your vehicle. It is. Switch on the dashboard. Okay, it's on. There we go. See the lights on your Kess are blinking. She's talking, she's writing. You got five minutes. The first time I did this was five minutes of panicking. It was so scary the first time I did it. Five minutes, well, three minutes now. The next video I make, I'll do the uh, ERG delete. I will also do the DPF delete. And I believe there's one more for um, the speed limiter. So make it unlimited there. Let me try it. Two 
two minutes and 20 seconds. Now on the dashboard, you'll see a bunch of different lights that are doing different things. For example, the um, it shows the check engine light, obviously, and right to the right of it, it shows the water temperature. It's a red light that's on. The ESP light is on. It shows that the doors are open, probably because the door's open. And uh, the flashing of that KESS module is definitely flashing a lot, so it's writing. Make sure that you follow the instructions when it says to turn it on, you turn it on, and shutting it off, shutting it off. Pay attention to it. I'm just gonna move my mouse because I know I've got a screen saver there. Just waiting on my licensing to come in for my uh, ERG and uh, my DPF remover software. <clears throat> It'll be in tonight and tomorrow I'll go ahead and, uh, well not tomorrow, but in a few days I'll go ahead and make a new video for those two. It shows you that it's using the file, clear read original 2, that file we just created. Switch off the dashboard to continue. Writing ECU complete. Okay. Now it's going to go ahead and create a log of what we just did. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that, get out of there. Say cancel. And uh, give you a fast, I'll just go ahead and close that. 